Welcome back to another episode of Marvel Man 901. So today I'm going to talk about Punisher, Daredevil, Clandestine and the character known as Baldur the Brave. So I'm going to start off with Punisher Volume 2, Issue 92 from 1994. This is the fourth and final part of Fortress Miami. So basically the Punisher is fighting the elite mercenary team known as Red Condors in order to kill Carranza. So Punisher basically fights these guys in a very brutal way and masterful way really and basically managed to kill them and then steal their helicopter and shoots Carranza just brutally dead. So I'm gonna move on to the next issue today. This is Daredevil issue 330 from 1994. This is the fourth part of Tree of Knowledge. So basically Daredevil is fighting the Silicon Pirates otherwise known as System Crash and Gambit is basically there as well just checking out the whole situation for the X-Men and he basically joins Daredevil to fight the bad guys. So the man is to defeat the bad guys but bad guys get away. During a bit of a calm session in a way Gambit basically gives Daredevil the name of a club of hackers basically that could possibly help Daredevil in his investigation of this whole Silicon Pirates thing. So later on Daredevil contacts Captain America and they both basically visits, visits this club to investigate further. Yes, the side step here, Elektra wanted to pay back uh, Matt Murdock or Daredevil for basically bringing her back to life. And uh, as you might know, Elektra is a bit, well, she is a bit special. Well, this is not exactly this kind of payback that Daredevil or Matt Murdock wants. So she obviously gets very frustrated by this. So I'm going to move on now to... Marvel Comics Presents, issue 158 from 1994. This is the first part of this issue and it's actually a clandestine introduction. So basically the special family clandestine are having a training session. And this is obviously a tease to th of things to come and nothing really happens more than they just basically show off their powers in this issue. But still pretty cool to see and it's going to be very interesting to read this new series that's going to come out. Well, new to me, maybe not to you. To the last part today, this is the character known as Baldur the Brave. He is obviously, well, he's of course the Asgardian God of Light and has actually been the ex-ruler of Asgard for a time. He also has a somewhat romantic relationship with the Norn Queen Carnilla. So he was introduced in Journey into Mystery issue 85 in the early to mid 60s. Apparently there's some sort of prophecy that upon his death it would basically trigger Ragnarok, basically the end of Asgardian mythology. And Odin commanded his wife Frigga to cast a spell to basically make Baldur, well, protected from harm. Except apparently for Mistletoe, as apparently this is at least probably a side effect of the spell actually working, that something has to basically give. Loki basically found out about this and he actually tricked the blind god known as Hodor to shoot a mistletoe arrow at Baldur, fatally wounding him. However, Odin managed to actually save Baldur, but Baldur's soul was basically traveling, well, basically traveled to hell, and then naturally, eventually getting back, which basically turned his hair white. So it's interesting little fact there about his hair. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed. Do subscribe and share if you like this. Basically, all of this is, of course, Marvel's creations. I'm only telling the story. And have a good day.